right, friends. So I placed this order for the um, perennial onions, I don't know, many, many, many months, months ago. I was gonna say many moons, but then it turned into months and it just formed some weird word, but many, many, many months ago. And I was, it's like most things when you order for gardening, they will only ship it to you when, um, when it's time for it to be planted in your zone. And so I, would, I received these uh, perennial onions about three days ago. So today is October 11th. So I got them Friday, October 11th, excuse me. So I think I got them on Monday, Monday-ish, something like that. Anywho, um, and then they finally came in the mail, Yahoo. Now I am no stranger to um, perennial onions. I actually have some perennial onions on the property already. If we look back here, all of this is Egyptian walking onions. They are perennial. And this is my first year with this patch, but not my first year having perennial onions. I've grown these for some time now, but just a small container full of them. Now, I did a video, but this past summer I received, I don't know, a countless number of um, Egyptian onions that had uh, the bulblets or bulbils on top, and this is what's all planted here. So this should come back. This looks really good. It had all died back when I planted it, and then it came back, and it's going to die again over the winter, but it'll return. I'm sure of it. So that's one perennial onion I have on the property. Don't ask me how many <laughs> walking onions that was because I have no clue. I have no idea. It's a lot though. And now the other perennial onion I have on the property is new this year. And I don't think I did a video on it. I put these in in the spring and they haven't done much of anything. So I hope they come back next year. But down here I have um, white multiplying onions. grows kind of like garlic where it separates and then it just multiplies you know and I've been eating the tops just a little bit here and there it's just about like any um any uh green onion tops you've had before so as you can see I'm not new to the perennial onion game However, some of these onions that I got, it was a sampler pack and I hadn't heard of them before and I'm pretty excited to open them up and get them planted. So let's take a look at the package. All right, friends, so here's my package. I think it looks fairly small, but you don't get a lot. It was a four pack sampler, I think. And I got it from Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. So inside here, it gives me a garlic and perennial onion growing guide. Very helpful. And on here, it gives you uh, information on different varieties of potato onions, multiplier onions, shallots, perennial leeks, Egyptian walking onions, elephant garlic, hard neck garlic, soft neck garlic. Then it tells you about soil preparation, how to plant it and raise beds, planting dates, planting depth and spacing, watering, harvest, curing, storage. And then a whole separate section on the perennial leeks. Um, they also give you some factors that might affect your bulb d division for the multiplier onions and garlic. And then it has a section here on the back about pest and disease control, singling out onion fly, onion maggot, onion thrips, bulls and field mice, and onion neck rot. That's a pretty in-depth uh, growing guide. I'm, quite impressed with that and it will come in handy.
because I don't know everything. All right. This first bag is four ounces of Dutch yellow shallots. Next bag is four ounces of French round shallots. One of those is kind of rotten. That's no good. Oh, there's a note here. It says, we regret to inform you that we have a limited supply of yellow potato onions. As a substitute, we will be using Dutch yellow shallots instead. We apologize for any inconvenience and hope you enjoy this alternative. I wanted the potato onion. Ah. Anywho. Third bag is gray Griselle shallots, four ounces. Why are there so many shallots? I thought they were supposed to be. And this last one is one ounce of walking onions, which I obviously don't need. I think I am gonna send these to my good friend, um, Felicia over at FR Humphrey. She's been wanting some walking onions and I got obviously a ton, so I'm gonna send these to her. And that's it. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I really wanted the uh, potato onions. Instead, I got three different types of shallots. And I like a shallot too, I'm not saying I don't. I just wanted the potato onions. So I'll have to keep an eye on their website um, and look for when they replenish those. So let me give you a closer look at some of these. French round shallot. It doesn't get very big, it doesn't look like, which is fine. It's just the two of us and we don't care about having big onions. We're the same way about potatoes. We don't care about having big potatoes either. But that's a nice big specimen right there compared to what's in the rest of the bag. These are nice and solid. Like I said, there was that one there that was soft. And it's um it's a little rotten. So I am gonna contact them. have I won't be terribly upset about it and hopefully they'll make it right yeah that whole bulb is gross so I'll be contacting them about the French round shallots that's what those are all right then the Dutch yellow shallot. Again, these are varying in size. The largest one looking to be this guy here and the smallest one being this little guy here. Bless you. But these feel nice and firm. I don't feel anything soft in this bag, so that's good. Okay. And I'm sitting here thinking right now, do I really care what the name of them are? Am I gonna like put name tags in with it? I don't know. A shallot is a shallot to me. And then the last one is <clears throat> the gray Griselle. And now this one, while varying in size as well, appears to just be larger in general. 
this one being the biggest bowl and then this one being the smallest bowl quite a difference but still bigger than um, in general those other two varieties this is nice and hard too so it's just that one that one bag that uh, had the rotting going on in it. Hopefully they'll replace it. I'll let you guys know if I remember that they'll replace that bag for me. Because a lot of times, you, you know from your own, having your own onions and keeping them in the house, once one goes bad, it kind of spreads. And then here are those, these are the bulbils that the walking onions have. Much of what you saw in the back of my yard there were these tops, these little sets. And then I just broke them into pieces and threw them in the dirt back there. So these should work very nicely for Miss Felicia. They look pretty good. Um, they're not dried out. Once they're dried out, they're no good, but these feel firm. And um, I need to get these to her ASAP though. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's see if they have any information about the specific ones. So I think I want to place another order because I didn't, I don't think I knew that they had perennial leeks or maybe they were out of them when I went on there. I don't recall. So I'm going to just check that out. And then I'm also going to keep an eye on the potato onions because that's what I really wanted. So much for that. And yeah, it doesn't explain anything about the specific, um, the specific varieties I got, but I'd say for the most part, I was pretty pleased with my order. I'm, you know, not thrilled that I had the one uh, bag that had the rotten bulb in it, but I haven't given them a chance to make it right yet because I just opened it. So I mean, I am gonna contact the company and see if I can get a replacement for that bag. And then other than that, I'm gonna bring you guys along, hopefully for when I go ahead and plant these this weekend. We had our first frost yesterday. We got down to 30 degrees. And um, I need to get these in the ground. <laughs> it's funny, a week ago, it was 85 degrees on Saturday. And last night it was 30 degrees. <laughs> Uh, today, right now, it's about 70, 72 or so. It's really pleasant. Um, we're going to have an outdoor dinner. But anyways, I'm super excited to get these in the ground. I have been saying for years and years and years that it's important to me to bring perennial foods onto the property. Things that will come back on their own. I don't have to keep planting them. Things that I will use. And I will definitely use the onions. I used... Even though I only had about 20 of them, I used the tops from my uh, previous walking onions constantly. They are my replacement for chives, which I'm trying to grow now. But um, so these onions will definitely come in handy. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and be on the lookout for the upcoming video where I plant these. Um, I got to see if I can get into my broken garage so I can get my soil amendments so that I can give these the best start that they can have. But until then, I will see you guys in another video on another day. Happy growing, friends.